feel like everybody who knows Bobby Lynch, she so graciously provided me with a bio, so I'm going to read it for Ben because she has read it so well. So uh, she was born and raised in Jonesboro and attended the local schools there. She also attended ETSU. <laughs> okay. Um, her, her family is steeped in the motorcycle business. They were located in Kingsport for over 50 years. That's against motorcycle sales. Um, Bobby and her husband, Dennis, have been married for 47 years, and they've also started three businesses in the downtown Kingsport area, uh, those being Chef's Pizza, Express, Express Signs, or Minecraft Signs, and uh, DRP Rentals. Uh, she now owns and operates the Allen Mill Package Store and has for the last nine years. She's a charter member of the Kingsport Sunrise Rotary. Um, and she also works with Mills on Wheels. She cooks twice a month, delivers twice a month, well, has so for the last 20 years, and uh, is part of the Netherlands Inn Association, has been for 25 years. And uh, in that, she has spearheaded their fundraiser for the past 16 years, the Low Country Boil. Bobby and her husband, Dennis, have one son, James, and wife, Crystal, and one granddaughter, Landry. So without any further ado, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. What do I do now? This is not this is not my forte. I'm just telling you now. Is it is it on? Okay. Okay, I'm here today to represent Netherland Inn. And I see some of my workers that have been out here and worked before. I saw Betty when I came in, David Oaks. Dave Light's not here, but he has been on the board and stuff before. And there's my sweet little Andy Straley there. His sweet wife, Elsie, was on there for several, several years. But now, how many of you have ever been to the inn before? Oh, we've got a few that haven't. So have you ever went on TripAdvisor to see what some of the comments have been about Netherland Inn. We have a 4.5 out of 5 rating, which is good. We're number 10 out of 33 things to do in Kingsport. So I want to tell you what some of the comments have been about the inn on there. Um, so this is what some of the reports have been. Great information provided by volunteers. Love the stories about the presidents that visited. History of the inn is amazing. Lots of character in history. Worth the visit. Beautiful location next to river. A must see for people interested in history. Beautifully furnished. Lovely and charming place to visit. Now for those of you that have not been, that should be enough for you to make sure you get it on your calendar and go down and visit us. Netherland Inn was built by William King in 1802. He built the property to house the men that he had hired to build his flatboats. Uh, the flatboats were transporting his salt west uh, down the river and everything, and he had connections in Saltville, Virginia. So he would transport his salt down to the river banks on the Holston River load it on his flatboats, load it down the river to wherever it was going. And uh, the area was established as King's Boat Yard and often called King's Port. So that could be where we got our King's Port name. The area became a very bustling center. The area served as a boat yard, a stagecoach stop, a tavern, and inn. We had three presidents that spent the night at the inn. Anybody like to guess who they might have been? David Oaks, you can't guess. <laughs> I know Andrew Jackson's one of them. Andrew Jackson's one, that's correct. Vince, Vince, Polk, Vince Polk. Polk's one. Andrew Johnson, that's correct. So there's not too many places that can say that they've had three presidents come and spend the night, especially when you don't have an indoor bathroom. <laughs> The inn and boatyard are noted for being the only place on the National Register of Historic Places that served as a stagecoach stop and a boatyard. 
The inn was turned into an inn and tavern in 1818 when it was purchased by Richard Netherland. Richard and his wife Margaret and six of their ten children called the inn their home. The inn remained in the Netherland family until 1906. After the Netherlands, the inn became a boarding house and the owners were H.C. and Nettie Cloud. During that time, the inn fell on difficult times. During the early 1960s, thanks to the forward thinking of Hal and Muriel Spoden, we have this treasure in Kingsport today. They were instrumental in setting up the 501C for the Netherland Inn Exchange Place Association. The preservation of this treasure is something we all need to work for to preserve for our future generations. That's why I volunteer and do it for as long as I have, because I want my granddaughter Landry to see this jewel that we've got here. The first charter for the city of Kingsport was signed in the West Tavern Room in 1822, joining the villages of Christiansville and Rossville into one. The city of Kingsport celebrated its 200th anniversary with a signing of a charter hosted by Mayor Pat Schull. It was also held in the West Tavern Room. We are an all volunteer organization. We have no one that gets a salary or is paid we're all volunteers. We are supported by membership, donations, and fundraisers. Some of our events we have each year are, we open in early May, so we have an opening day ceremony at the first weekend in May. We have tea at the inn in June. We have Fun Fest in July. Low Country Bowl comes around the hottest day of the year, and that's in August. We have the junk and treasure sale in September. So if you've got stuff you need to clean out your house, be sure and save it for us because we have a good sale. And then we do Christmas at the end in December. We're open May through October, Saturdays and Sundays, with tours at 2, 3, and 4. And we stop, we have people, docents each day at those hours to help give the tours. And we have other buildings on the property besides just the Netherland Inn. We have a restored kitchen that has a functioning fireplace in it, the Boone Cabin, which is our children's museum, the old schoolhouse, like a one-room schoolhouse, that's where we hold our meetings, the gift shop, Pence Cabin, the bank barn, which is the Hal T. Spoden Pioneer Transportation Museum, and we did have a flat boat, but we don't now. We have been getting several visitors uh, who saw the article in the paper about the Boone Cabin that have been coming down to just see it and you know verify. So the Boone Cabin is our children's museum and it's decorated from toys from the early 1800s. <clears throat> Excuse me. The cabin was dismantled and moved to Netherland Inn property in the late 1970s and early 1980s. It was moved from the Wilderness Road area in Duffield, Virginia. Daniel Boone and his family lived in the cabin along the Wilderness Trail some time between not 1773 and 1775. I don't think he's still here in 1973. So, the end, we have had several restoration projects in the last few years. We have uh, painted the bank barn and the inn completely. The inn has had new steps, front porches, and railings done along the steps to the dog trot, which leads to the restored kitchen. New heating and cooling system has been installed in the inn, and we've also, just this past year, had to install a new heating and cooling system in the caretaker's cottage. We have a new alarm system for the entire complex. In 2015, the Picnic Pavilion was built and donated to the inn by private donations. The west side of the inn, which gets all of the weathering 
and um, it shows, everybody sees it coming down Netherlands Road. It had years of weather and age and woodpeckers that loved it. Uh, we had to take off all the wood on that uh, because it is a historic facility. So we had to take the wood off, repair the leaks and stuff, put it back on. Uh, we had a leak around the chimney that was affecting the interior of the inn uh, with water damage. And so we had to correct the chimney just from settling. We had gotten from a little bitty crack to a big old crack. So that we had water that was coming inside our um, building. We acquired, we acquired salt kettle from Saltville, Virginia this year. And David and I and a couple of others went up to Saltville, I don't know, 10 years ago. We thought we were getting one then. Just takes a long time. And then our flatboat, our poor, poor flatboat. The flatboat was built by Bill Taft as a private donation to Netherlands. Inn. It had no city money involved in it uh, or taxes or anything. It was a complete donation. He commissioned John Cooper of Nashville to come to Kingsport and build the replica flatboat on the banks of the Holston River. Flatboats were typically not built to last. They were nicknamed the boat that never came back. Flat boats were typically broken up at the end of the journey and the lumber used for building houses for homesteaders. Mr. Cooper tried to get Bill Taft to use a lumber that would last, but Mr. Taft was adamant that he wanted to use lumber as close to what was used in the early days of flat boating. A local sawmill was contacted and the building began white poplar wood was used. Flatboats were, flat were used to transport families from the Holston River who wanted to settle downriver and farther to Middle Tennessee. We've had flatboats on the Holston River since the early 1700s, since uh, so. Mr. Cooper, with the help of a local helper, built the flatboat that was then donated to Netherlands Inn. At first, we had steps that people could go up onto the flatboat and tour, go inside it, but we later had to remove the steps due to damage from vandalism. We had some people that tried to set fire to it, um, and um, uh, tried to take the boards off and steal the stuff that we had inside uh, for so we ended up putting uh, iron doors on it so you could at least look in it. But then when they tried to set fire to it, we took the steps away so that people could no longer go up and look at it. We, um, the Netherlands Inn volunteers added a covering over the roof to protect the interior of the hut on the flatboat. Fast forward to about two, three years ago. Dennis and I sent a carpenter to do repair work on the flatboat. After a call from the carpenter that we needed to come over there immediately and look at things, we halted the repair work. The flatboat had sustained significant damage from water. The flatboat had been in water from flooding. It's in a hundred year floodplain there, so whenever the river would flood, it covered the green belt, it would all uh, get into the flatboat. So we, and we did have several calls that the flatboat was floating down the river. The flatboat actually would float, but it was anchored down and it would not float down the river, believe me. But um, after reviewing the situation, we made a call to John Cooper. We asked John to come to Kingsport to look at our flatboat and to tell us what he thought. After his inspection, his suggestion was that the boat be replaced. It was never built to last as long as it did. It lasted 
as long as it did because the Netherland Inn volunteers took care of it. We try to take care of what we have. We don't have a lot of money, so we do try to take care of our stuff. Current. The boat was rotten all the way to the port. It had soaked the water up into the wood and it had just kept going up and up until it had damaged so much of it that there was nothing really left that you could scab onto to build, to rebuild what was there. So, Netherland Inn volunteers and community service workers dismantled the boat. Things that could be kept and reused were salvaged. The metal doors will be reused on the next flight boat. After several estimates to refurbish the existing flat boat or rebuild a new flat boat, we are in the process of getting a new flat boat built. We have settled on using Skyline Restoration of Acton, Tennessee to build a new flat boat. We will be starting a new float the boat campaign. We hope to have the new flat boat in its place before the end of 2024. The blueprints for the old flat boat were copyrighted. So we were unable to get those uh, blueprints. So Skyline Restoration has had to new, do new blueprints, get them approved because it, we are a historic place. So that everything has just taken so much time. So Skyline Restoration has also agreed to come up every year in this is in our contract with them to come up every year and to do maintenance on the flat boat they'll retreat or replace any boards that need it at the time the um we have i have a picture of sort of our drawings from uh and if anybody wants to look at it, I'm sorry it's not better, but I could not, I'm not computer savvy. I couldn't get it to go on a PowerPoint. So we have, I have a picture, but we, uh, we're excited about this. So that really is all I have. So I'll take some questions if anybody's got any questions.